welcome back once again in this part we will work with our logout part so and this part will be our last part for this for this section i hope so so for doing this first we need to create a one more field and first we need to add a icon so go to this image asset folder and we need to add our logout icon select action bar and tab icon and click this clip art and select logout icon we can choose the icon that shows that represent a logout and what was the icon scroll down scroll down and and i think i think where is this icon so this action not this action what is this icon i can't see it now okay this icon power of icon and we can change it change it name to a lockout and add hollow dark and next and finish okay now we need to add one more item so item and define a id id we can call it logout make sure that you added this id inside our navigation drawer menu not for our boto navigation menu okay so and add a title and we can call it logout and android icon is going to be drawable logout now go, now open this home activity and inside this home activity we need to implement our and first we need to add our firebase auth inside this home activity we need to add our firebase auth so private firebase auth is m auth now this m auth is equal to firebase auth dot get instance and now in here we need to add one more id so case r dot id dot and we can call it lockout and amoth dot and amoth dot sign out and break so hope this will work and when we will sign out then we need to redirect to our main activity that is our that is our login activity so after sign out we need to redirect we need to redirect to our main activity so we need to pass here a intent so a start activity intent get application context and our main activity dot class now break so now i think all done now we can run our application And here is our application here is our dashboard fragment and all this data and income fragment and we can delete we can update we can do all these things that we need we retrieve data horizontally and in here we can see our logout button now we can successfully log out and we are now in login activity we can we can go to registration activity and from registration activity we can we can add we can we can move to login activity so now we successfully log out and now if we log in once again so at hz at the rate gmail.com gmail.com and add password 1234 now log in and we can see our progress dialog processing and now we are in our 
home activity and we can see our all this data is stored and we can again log out 